My son David and I enjoy watching documentaries together on television. One of our favorites is astronomy. We watch the theoretical physicists, cosmologists, astronomers, and mathematicians talking about the universe and its beginnings and future. My son, who is well versed on astronomy, breaks down what supernovas are and their impact on our own galaxies here and farther away. What really fascinates me is that we in the universe are made of stardust, literally. And I thought about starlight and the light in all of us. And I remembered the words of the spiritual, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. And this led me to think about our interconnectedness and how by joining our little and big lights together, we create larger and brighter lights. Your lights shine as you preach, sing, clean, garden, type, file, record, and make sacrifices for others in service to God. At St. Thomas, you feed the homeless, prepare and take food to HIV and AIDS patients, visit the sick, and donate thousands of hours to maintain the facilities and support your many ministries. Paraphrasing a lyric by the Winans, you give of yourself for God's cause, dedicating your lives to reach the lost, but you may never know all the people you have touched, and you may never know all the lives you have reached through love. You can feel and see the love in this place. When you see someone gently touch a loved one's final resting place within these sacred walls, when everyone is invited to the altar for communion or for a blessing, and when those of us who are sick and ailing receive special prayers and blessing with holy water in the Lady Chapel. Every light counts. No matter how big or how small your light is, your light joins with others to create an even bigger and brighter light. Let your light shine so that we may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Thank you.